you saw Scott's inferior video, here's my better video of all the games I played in 2021. I blame the editing. You you can learn to edit, then you can do it your way. We're still not going to tell you how many games I played. I will put a counter up on the side. You guys can try to guess who had more games, and then we will put a community poll out, and you guys can decide who had the better games. You told me I could never put my poll out in the community. We're just gonna ignore Scott from here on out. He'll just be the Vanna White of game passing. He's gonna pass me the games, and we'll talk about them. Okay, I didn't even get there yet! I'll so, touch it. <laughs> this was back at the first of the year when I was like, I'm gonna play a lot of retro this year, half and half even. The lie detected test determined that was a lie. One retro, one modern, one retro, but Scott's not gonna say anything about it because- I still play more than you, which I thought, I was disappointed in myself. Mm -hmm. You still try to justify your bullshit. No, I don't know. <laughs> what are your thoughts? I liked Turtles in Time better than I liked uh, Hyperstone, Hyperstone Heights. Heights. I don't know. I think it's maybe because that was the first one I played. You prefer Super Nintendo over Genesis, am I right? I I had a Super Nintendo. They're, they're, they're the same fucking game. <laughs> no, because you don't have that. You don't have that part where you throw the foot clan at the the. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Is it the Technodrome? Sure you are. <laughs> what? One lonely game. Stop. You know what I was surprised by that you guys will notice when we go through this list when I'm like I love my PS4. But I did play Good An next to another me. modern right. console. Another modern console. Alice Madness Returns. <laughs> I feel like Scott's talked about this one enough. Like I've said many times, she did a review video of it, and I suggest going checking it out. It was Do you know what? done really well. This is the game that made me want to collect for myself. The only game I played on this one this year was Uncharted 3. But I did, I wanted to be authentic and take it from the collection I did play it from and this is the way I played it. So I did play Uncharted 3. Last year I played Uncharted 1 and 2. It was a good game, but it was different. And I, I talked about that with Easy like Going me. Gaming because he played it this year too. And he oh, was yeah. like, it was good. Was it different good? We don't know, but it was good. <laughs> so it's a good Ninja Turtle game. Look at you with your retro Ninja Turtle goodness over here. <laughs> I know. He had two retro games. I had three retro games. I just want to say, I played Little Mermaid first, and then I told Scott it was a good game, it was a short game, and he should play it too. I believe I bought it. No, you did first. not. I went to Nerdful Things and got it. It came in its own NES oh, case. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It was huh. on my wish list. But I, then I played it. Irish Fall was a recommendation from Retro Wolf. I do believe this is a really cool game of light and shadow. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. It, uh, I didn't love it. It wasn't a stellar game, but it was a very good game. And it was a short game, which was nice. This was a couch co-op we played together and Scott might have played shmup. once. Yeah, a cute em up yes. a shmup. That Scott might have also played by himself. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because why? Because of the stellar shoot em up aspect? Yeah. Game mechanics? Yeah. yeah, that's what it was. It was a good game though. We had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, it was a good game. Yeah. It was a quick game though. It was a quick game. I don't even know what he's passing me. I'm like, this is a game. <laughs> uh, a way out, again, another couch co-op. This kind of blew my mind. I wasn't expecting um, what I got from it. I knew nothing about it no. other than Pac-Man. Uh, he recommended, I don't know if he even personally recommended it to us, but I think it was in maybe in a top 10. It might have been. But he, I think he had been talking to me about it and saying that we should play it. Yeah. Little Nightmares 2. I love this game. Um, more than the first one? No, I like the first one better. This brought more to the gameplay, but the story in the first one still is my favorite. I I don't know why. I just it was it was better put together. I I found than the story in this one. The story in this one was creepy though. Yoshi's Craft It World. You know what? This was not a difficult game. There was parts that I was like, ah, what am I doing here? But it was really cute. It it was kind of just like an easy pick up and play game. I did end up playing it handheld. I had a lot of fun with it. I, Is that originally a Wii U game? It might be. Most of the Switch games I find are just Yeah, ports. I'm not sure. I know there's a Yoshi's, um, it's like a knit, it's knit at something or yarn. I can't remember what it's called. 
Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is basically Tomb Raider, just a little bit different. It wasn't really? bad. It sounds like a good game. <laughs> it wasn't bad. I just was like, didn't I kind of already play this game? And I didn't really enjoy how it started out. It wasn't a bad game. I, I played it all the way through. I enjoyed it. Kind of like when you play Uncharted 1 and you play Uncharted 2, you're like, oh yeah. You play Tomb Raider and then Rise of the Tomb Raider and you're like, they could have done more. Or something different. <laughs> something different. Dennis did the same thing. Though, yeah. Right? yeah. He said the first of the game, it was like And then I hear slow. even even less positive <clears throat> about Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So I'm like, oh, well, really? you're really making me want to play it. Still life. Still life. If you want to know how to fuck up a cookie recipe, play Still Life. It's not a bad game. It has its moments. I just, it's, not it's showing game. its age. Oh, yeah. Really showing its age. Oh, oh. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Ooh. Devil May Cry HD class. Yeah. And you played the first one, right? I did play the first one. Uh, My recommendation. Your recommendation. I loved it. I loved it. Uh, that's why I kind of think I might play Bayonetta this year if I get around to it. Because... Can I, I watch? Yes, yeah, you can watch. <laughs> I was looking at the back of that, I picked it up, and I'm like, that's Resident Evil 4. Going by the back of it. it I does. didn't look at the front. You know what? Because that village there and everything. Yeah, I, I can like, I can totally understand why yeah. you'd say that. Uh, Evil Within, I really enjoyed it. Is not as good as Evil Within 2, but it's still a good game. It's just the difficulty is all over the place. At first you start out and you're like, I'm never gonna beat this game. This is the most difficult game ever. And then it dies down and you're like aren't we supposed to do that in the opposite way <clears throat> yeah it's not supposed to happen. but yeah it was a good game they improved on the second one which i really appreciate diablo diablo Three. we already talked about this in scott's addictive it's fun 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 you know what did annoy me a little bit i'm like hey Pardon? guys can we just go play the game they were always like let's switch this let's Oh, let's make sure our fucking armbands match our torso shit. Let's be done. Yeah. No, let's make sure that that thing is specifically You right. literally gotta be dressed <gasps> to kill, Jen. Dressed to kill. It was driving me crazy how many times you and Dennis were like, let me check one more thing. Especially Dennis. I love this game. It is so much fun. It had me on the edge of my seat at times. I wouldn't so I, say... I was banished from the game room there a few <laughs> times because you were playing... It's just when you're fighting those courts, I wouldn't say this game is necessarily scary and some people probably would say that it's yeah, intense it can be intense at some times it's there, intense yeah. is what it is scary i see scary i think jump scares this was like i felt like even a creep factor but there's no yeah, yeah yeah because i'm not spending 2500 dollars on games <laughs> little we, samson little samson i knew nothing about this game i think somebody was talking about it once and i was like ah, what's that game <laughs> so I'm like, I should probably play it. It's a really good game. Yep. And I love the aspect of being able to like change your character based on where you are and have it. So like if you if you need to be small, you need to change your character so your you mouse. can get in there. Yeah, into the mouse. Yeah. But it was a really good game. It's not a $2,500 mm, game. It's, it's just, just because not. it's rare. It's rare. Uh, did you play both of these? I played both Inside of those. Inside and in, Limbo. Inside and Limbo are both stellar games. I think I liked... Uh, inside a little bit more than limbo it just it brought something like towards the end of that game i was like what the fuck is up with this game it you're, was you're, um you're like a ball of disturbing flesh. it was it was that disturbing. might be the best word <laughs> yeah it's like people are brainwashed and you're just like you're trying to get away it's just creepy it's creepy but both of these games if you can pick them up in a combo path do it pirates pirates plunder uh, another phenomenal game. Lots of shovelware on the Wii. This is not one of them. I think I seen that on a Metal Jesus Hidden Gems video. Yeah. And I sought it out. Uncharted 4. Oh, Uncharted 4. I go back and forth between 2 and 4 being my favorite. I think 4 might edge out 2 just a little <gasps> bit. But Uncharted 4 just brought in another character and it had a really great ending. I just loved everything about this game. Astrobot Rescue Mission VR. So much fun. I there was a couple levels where I'm like, I feel like I could probably feel the sun on my skin. Like I could feel the warmth. But you get tricked uh, I, a little bit. Well your brain doesn't get just doesn't get it there because there's one part where you're going <laughs> underwater and you see the water come up and your your stupid brain tells you, hold your breath. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you can you get really immersed into that world. I just loved looking down and like that's my body. You know, it was it was a fun game. Dawn of Sorrow is the reason I spent a lot of money this year because I had to have she order, had them all. I had to have Order of Ecclesia and Portrait of Ruin because of it. I haven't gotten around to playing either one of those yet because we get busy towards the tail end oh, of the year. Oh, October and on there. Yeah, it gets yeah. really busy, but oh, that last boss! I swear I spent hours trying to beat it. Resident Evil oh. 2 remake. Yes, uh, I would love to say that. Uh, I've played all the Resident Evil games, but haven't. I've played some of the Resident Evil games, and I really, really enjoy this one. I'm not going to say too much about it because of something we know that we don't want to tell everybody yet. True. Yeah. So that's all I'm going to say. Bro Force. Bro Force. Ram Bro. I had a t-shirt in our Amazon cart there that was Bro Force. I never did get it. I know. And I will buy it for you. You kill your friends all the time, yeah. and you're like, what the fuck, he killed me again with a bomb! <laughs> but it's so much fun! It wouldn't fun. be, I don't think it would be as fun <laughs> one player. Dennis played it uh, single player, and he's like, yeah, it wasn't as much fun single player. It's not. Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, yeah. I loved this game. I, I'm like between a really liked and loved this game. I, this ending sold me enough that I pre ordered uh, Forbidden West. <laughs> but um, for the probably first quarter to a third of the game I was like it's a, it's it's good but oh some games are a slow burn like you have to commit to get through them I think I was just overwhelmed with the amount of time I knew it was gonna take me yeah and so I just I how kept... long is that game 60 uh, probably 60 maybe I mean 50, as long 60. as you want it to be I, mean, I did can, not do everything you can put up here what they say yeah. it is but, but I didn't you're always a little bit longer I didn't do everything God of War this is my first and only so far God of War I played, and you really liked it. I really liked it. You liked it more than I did. I did like it I more than you did. I was fucking like, rage here. Like that game. Because <laughs> I started on God of War three, and it worked yeah. my way back. I have played it, but I've never played all the way through it, so I didn't hit those parts that drove me fucking bonkers. At yeah, the yeah. I I just I I really really enjoyed it so much so that I'm really looking forward to playing the rest. I'm, I'm not going to make any promises. I'll play it all in uh, 2022, but I mean, there's aspirations to want to, but I put 10 games on I my did. list that I are very to. long. I think those 10 games that you put on your list are going to chew up a ton of time. What is this? Golden Abyss? Golden Abyss. Golden Abyss on the Vita. On the Vita. Um, didn't love it. I didn't hate it. There was parts I really liked in the game. I hated that back screen stuff could have did without that. It's not a bad game. I just, I think I had played Switch handheld. I had played the DS handheld, which yeah. is a different experience as far as like game graphics go. And then I, I got to this one and I was like, well, I'm gonna play through it because it's an Uncharted game, but yeah. I didn't love it. The Evil Within 2. Okay. This is not the way you played I, it This though. is not the way I played it because if you bug your friends enough, they'll play the games you want them to play. We and lent it out. We, Dennis has it. He's playing through it now. He is liking it more than number one. And I told him he would. At first, he's like, fuck that game. I don't know, dude. <laughs> and I'm like, I promise it'll be good. And he ended up liking it by the end of it. But he said he's really liking two better. Evil Within 2 was a very polished, now, evenly distributed difficulty of Evil Within 1. Now, if you had to recommend... Better story. Would you say people had to play number one before two, or you just say, oh, fuck it, just play number two? I don't think you have to play number one. I but Give I, you a little bit of background. It does give you some yeah. backstory because the uh, female cop in number two has a, or number one has a bigger role in number two. Uh, the Invisible Hours was a very different gameplay. I wouldn't say I didn't enjoy my experience because it was a short experience, three hours, three, three and a half hours, but you're playing through a movie. So you're, oh. you're basically, it's a, kind of a walking simulator if you were playing it in a movie, if that makes any sense. So you're walking through everybody's timeline so you can be like, okay, I need to see what's on, going on with her. And you kind of have to figure out the murder, but there's no payout at the end. There's no like, oh, you figured it out before you got there. You'll just go to the zero hour, the invisible hour. And then you're like, oh, that's what happened. That's it. Like it. You're not selling me on it. That's not my kind of game. No. I think. Rush of oh, Blood. Oh, Rush of Blood. This game is addictive. You play through it the first yeah. time, like Scott said. 
it's it's very jump scary uh, just because it doesn't bring you back down you just constantly stay at nine going from nine to ten back down to nine <laughs> and uh, but we were playing it all here at Christmas and people were playing it and then I was like as soon as I saw someone take a break I was like I'm in and I wanted to go <laughs> play it some more because that's, I, that's gonna be an annual Halloween yes. game that's, it's a lot of fun yep. made of scare oh this was such a fun game different again in this one you're going to scare mansion or scare it's it's a big house anyways everything there has been kind of under this spell they're 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 creatures that they'll attack you if they hear you so you're constantly going around mm. don't you can't breathe you can't make a sound i've seen little oh. tiny pieces of it it's so good i really graphically looked pretty it, good it was it was really yeah. good tormented souls tormented souls ps5 game yes uh this one i did talk about a little bit i think in our halloween, halloween. video mm -hmm. um what i did love about it is that you could play it um tank controls or you can play it dual analog which was really cool i played dual analog this game is heavily inspired by resident evil old silent, hill. silent hill games yeah. like back then how those old games played yeah so it played very similar but with more modern aesthetics it is yeah, yeah. and sometimes it would be more difficult than i expected and holy shit you need to take care of your ammo situation you do yeah. not get a lot of ammo and there was one point where i had like two bullets left i'm like well i'm screwed i have to go back through the house because you have to go underground in uh some tunnels and i couldn't go there yet i was like there's no way i'll survive yeah. and i was able to find a few things i had missed house of ashes house of ashes uh scott forgot to mention we played this like there is a co-op option and that's how yes. we play it and which i did find was annoying at points because it, you, you're passing it back every like 10 seconds i think you can make it so that there's multiple controllers we just didn't do that option that time yeah and i didn't realize how many there were sections of the game where it's like i did an action and then it says all right hand the controller to her i'm like and yes. then she would do like, like it was like back and forth there i was like oh come yeah, you on play this talk about five people yeah talk this about is, like really yeah. like taking the momentum out of the game it does so, it yeah. does super mega baseball too yeah this was we Dennis? played through a season and then we went and we won the championship. Yeah. Right. That's why we consider we played through this game. Yeah. Uh, Dennis, I think, asked me one time, did you ever think you'd be sitting down playing a baseball game? You know what? I actually don't mind those arcade style baseball games. They're just very more... arcadey. Yeah. Yes. Very arcadey. Definitely competitive aspect to it, but it's a lot of fun. Ori. Yes. You played both. I played both. This is the Blind Forest and Will of the Wisps. Retro Ghetto. Harassed you into playing. Yeah, <laughs> we did. These are great games, but make sure you play Blind Forest first. Will of the Wisps is better. It's the second in the series. It is, <clears throat> it, it definitely gets better as you go. But yeah, both games are phenomenal. The story in them had me hooked right from the start. Uncharted The Lost Legacy. This is my last Uncharted because that's all the Uncharted. You've played every Uncharted I've game? I've played Done. E in Done the, the last series. two years. i played every Uncharted game. I think I like this one better than three. Uh, maybe even better than one. Two and four still, still probably. Yeah. yeah. But this one is a really good game. There is one spot where. Did Dennis say he liked this one better? He like, might like this one better than. It's because of the chicks. I think it's because of the chicks. But yeah, if you've played through the Uncharted series, you will notice you will recognize these two characters because she's in number four and i do believe she's in number two the last one because we did this in the sequence of how we played it yeah played through this one last night such a fun game there's so many aspects to it that i love and just looking around at the world they're like oh my god look at that look at that now i said this last <laughs> night after we get done playing it i said i love the game but this is a couple's game. It is a couple's game. Uh, I don't think two guys, two bros, are going to sit there no. and enjoy the story. Two girls could play through it. Two girls two, will probably love yeah, it. Yeah. But it's a love story, really. It is a love story. It's a story. love story. You know? I kept waiting for the twist where someone was going to die. <laughs> I'm like, and this is where he <laughs> dies, and this is where she dies, and yep. she's, yeah. But I, I don't, like me and Dennis, we would have played through it and we would have enjoyed it, but we wouldn't have enjoyed the story uh, part. We'd be it. like, uh, now I have to go do something manly, like chop wood or something. <laughs> you have to go away. 
And yeah. that is all my games. All right. That's a lot of games. Yes, and we did count them. And the grand total is you have more games than I did I this year. I did have more games than you did. I'm going to rebuttal with the fact that I played some really long games. <laughs> I played some really long games too. Days Gone. That's Horizon true. Zero Dawn. That's true. Yeah. Right. Evil Within 1 and 2. Are they that long? They were long, yeah. 20 hours? 20, 30 hours. Oh, yeah. that's not long. <clears throat> Whatever. All right, check. Yeah, this is where Jen has to pick her three favorite games of the year. Are, are you looking at any of these retro games? No. <laughs> it's not easy. <clears throat> what? I think I want Evil Within 2 there. But more than the uh, Ori's? I love... More than the Castlevania? More than Little Nightmares 2? More than Horizon Zero Dawn? Yada, yada, yada? I know. Oh. I know. Right. I'm not happy with myself either. These two are, are obvious choices. Are they? I think. Yeah. Okay. This one may be interchangeable with any four or five other ones in there. But that's what I'm going to go with for Is now. Is your one, two, three? Number one? Yeah. Yeah. Number two? Yeah. You can hold up number three. Number three. All right. See a little bit of a dark theme here. <laughs> like psycho. I, I know. That's just what I gravitate towards. I can't help it. And you know what? I'm sorry, my friend, but I played six retro games. How many did I play? You played six or seven, so. I'm going to say seven. <clears throat> we weren't crazy. that far off. I was disappointed in myself, and you're proud of yourself. There's the difference. My way of making myself play more retro games this year is I picked 10 retro games. So, at the very least, I'll have 10 retro games. <laughs> Probably just 10 retro games. They're heavy hitters, I think. I believe they're all heavy hitters mm -hmm. because I helped you pick the list. <laughs> all right, you, you outro this because I did the last one. All right, game on. God, you're brilliant at it. Bruce. No, you gotta have more energy at the end. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>